I will be discussing in this video the Laplace transforms of functions. Uh, the Laplace transform is being used to solve uh, differential equations uh, without using integration. Now, normally, when we solve um, a differential equation, for example, y prime minus uh, x is equal to zero. Okay, so this is of course y prime is equal to x and we transform this into its uh, form dy dx this is equal to x and we have now we separate variables so we have dy is equal to x dx and to solve now for the uh, differential equation we integrate both sides so this becomes y is equal to x squared over 2 plus the constant of integration. In solving differential equation using the Laplace transform, that is, we, we transform the function, for example in this case, all of this will be transformed into the so-called Laplace transform. And then, uh, you solve the inverse of the Laplace transform, and this will give you the solution. Now, this one, the Laplace transform will transform even the the differential equation. So with that, the process now is by using algebra. So we do, we do not use any more uh, integration when we solve differential equation using the Laplace transform. And of course, uh, this is much easier because we only need uh, algebra to solve differential equations. So when we try to solve differential equation without using integration, we have to know two concepts. That is one, the transformation of function into Laplace transform. Second is we have to know how to solve the inverse of the uh, Laplace transform, that is the inverse, when you say inverse, going back to the, uh, solving back the uh, function, okay, from, we have the differential equation, and then we determine the Laplace transform, and then we, the, the result of that, we inverse that, and that's the time that we have now the solution of the differential equation. So, uh, let us first discuss the Laplace transformation. Finance space. Okay. So, the concept is, of course, this is uh, the process. Um, if we have a function about uh, y is equal to function of x or we may use a different symbol uh, actually in Laplace transform we are using instead of x variable we use t uh, most of the time because the application of Laplace transform is about time that was t so y equals to function of t. Oh, this is our function, okay? Uh, this is our dependent variable. This is our uh, de um, um, independent variable. Because if we have function of t is equal to 
um, p squared plus 1. Ganun yan, di ba? So, this represents the value of y. The function of 1 for this. This is equal to 1 squared plus 1 or this is 2. Okay, so the transformation of the function in this one, the transformation of this into Laplace, all we have to do is to multiply that by E raised to negative E is T. The symbol for Laplace transform is this. The Laplace transform of the function T. Is equal. Okay, so let me say that this function will be transformed into Laplace, and this is our uh, symbol. So the process is we multiply the function by negative est, and yeah, the function with limit from zero to infinity.